Hey guys, Rafer here, and today I'm back with another author. Oh, woo! <laughs> so silly. And um, yes, yeah, so this is going to be one with a bunch of female authors um, in the fandom, um, which uh, sadly I'm not as well read in. I was trying to scramble and read a bunch of this stuff, but uh, they're, some of them are fairly, well, one of them is fairly new. The other one's been around for a couple of years, and I think the other one has also been around for a couple of years, doing editing work mostly. Um, so, first up, I'll talk about, um, <coughs> oh, it's, 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 sorry, where was it? <coughs> um, Franklin Leo, um, and I really like her screen name, was it Vixen Velid? <laughs> I think it's a lot more cuter, but uh, no, her author name is uh, Franklin. And she is a author, and I was introduced to her work in Heat 10. Um, it was the swimming story, uh, Best of the Best. I really, really loved that one. I really liked the characters in it. And um, yeah, so I've been pretty excited to see uh, her work coming out. Um, and, oh, oops, where was it, yeah, so, and then, I was trying to go research a bit and work out where, uh, her stuff was, yeah, and so, I was having a bit of trouble, so, uh, I asked her, and, um, uh, basically, this, she's got a story in, uh, Bleak Horizons, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I have, <laughs> like, I need, I need to have a proper inventory, um, and, uh, she's got some pieces coming out in the near future. And, uh, uh, there's a published, uh, academic book review on Fred, Be <coughs> Fred Patton's, uh, Fairy Convention book. Um, I think I know the one she's talking about, so I'm kind of keen to follow that one up, just for non-fiction reading. Um, but yeah, no, like, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see her work. Um, I just really enjoy following her on Twitter. Um, and, yeah, I think, uh, I love her strengths, at least from the little I've read, which is, like, one story, <laughs> um, is, um, uh, this, this definite different perspective on characters, um, that I really saw come, came through in, uh, Best of the Best, and I, I'm pretty interested to see, uh, in Bleak Hor Horizons, because I think that's one of the the horror anthologies, so I should probably read it sooner than later, um, but uh, obviously I had to cut this one a bit quick because I need to work out a, for Planet video, uh, soon, before AC comes around, and, um, and also I, I'm just, I'm still reading my Tom Clancy book, and, um, yeah, I still want to just play a bunch of video games, <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty keen on seeing her stuff that comes out from her. Uh, the other author I picked this week to talk a bit about was uh, Gull Wolf, um, who's got an amazing persona. I, I think, um, yeah, I think it was her persona that drew me to her, and I think she was, uh, I just saw her stuff pop up in my feed and just followed her. And yeah, she, she's another new author. So, she, okay, so, oh. So, correction on last week, um, GM Raider didn't attend Raw, uh, but this time, oh shit, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it, double check, double trip, um, and yeah, and so, Gold Wolf definitely did attend, uh, Raw this time, <laughs> um, yeah, and there was, um, oh, there was some in-joke going around about Betty or something, um, which, uh, I will never know, uh, it's kind of one of those things, like, uh, <laughs> What was it? There was, a, there was some stupid thought I was having where it's like, you know, the, the kind of the the corkboard uh, wall with the pins and the, the strings and you're connecting it all together to work out who is Betty, uh, except, um, oh, there's that funny one with Vincoli as well, I was like, who is Vincoli? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited to see her stuff that's coming out, especially after uh, the war workshop. Because I think, oh, um, going back to Skunk Bomb, his story in, f yeah, Fan Volume 7, it was, it was the one in Vegas, that's right, because it was a Vegas anthology. His story, that one, uh, he was saying to me, I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this right, <laughs> came because of, um, he attended, uh, 
wore the Volwex shop the year before, which... Shit. How would I check? Oh, yeah, it'll, t it'll take me a couple minutes to check that. So um, what I'll do is um, I'll, <laughs> I'll double check that while I'm waiting for this to end up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's, that thing of Vada is true. But yeah, so now I am excited to see what comes out from her after this. Um, so I did read her story in Dogs of War Volume 1. Uh, oh, Old Regimes. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Cool. Like it, it, um, it grabbed my interest straight away, and um, how to put it? Like I think my own imagination of where the story was gonna go went another way, and the story took me another way. So it was a bit of weird um, mental, personal discourse there, something like. So um, yeah. So old regimes is a pretty cool story. It follows along. Um, oh, is it? Oh, I see this problem because I. I Kept getting uh, the the hair and the polecat names mixed up. Uh, I no okay. So the polecat is Jasper. Okay, and um, Samuel is the hair. Yep, that's right. I oh, I kept getting it mixed up. Um, yeah, so it, it it follows along with Jasper and um. It's kind of a brief slice in his interaction uh, with a, like, a, a Maxim machine gun. Um, in, in this, uh... Oh, fuck. In this pseudo-fantasy and pseudo, I think, more... Uh, like, American Civil War time period, um, rather than a Napoleonic Civil War period. Um... There's probably, you know, striking differences that I don't know because I don't know shit about either. <laughs> but yeah, so it's an interesting kind of thing there. And I really liked um, the Rollo, the infantry bat, and that was a really cool um, spin. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And um, yeah, I really liked a lot of stuff with uh, how um, the, the furriness and the species of characters came into play in... in in their, their roles in this society and, and uh, positions and ranks in the army. And uh, and a bit more, uh, I guess, uh, I think, yeah, and they're more of like um, racist slants on their species. So like, you know, like, oh, the evil foxes from the, the evil across the pond. Uh, and yeah, it's like, it was really cool. Like I liked <clears throat> I really, really like that, and, um, yeah, the, the, I think the, the main riplus is, is because, um, oh, it, 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 we're introduced later into the story that, uh, the, oh, I'm trying to think of the proper word, so the, 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 the nation that Jasper's fighting for, um, they recently overthrew, uh, their, like, dragon overlords, um, the, the old regime of dragons, and, um, there's, and in being faced against this terrifying weapon that can kill scores of men, uh, they, they, they reactivate the, or release one of the, uh, they release the captain of the Dragoon Guard out to help them, and she's pretty cool, and I, and I, I felt like, um, she probably could have got a little bit more screen time, or book time, or story time, because, <laughs> um, I, I, it's definitely towards the end of what happens, I felt like, uh, I wasn't as invested as much, because I wasn't along with her as much as well, as, like, compared to, um, oh, was it Samuel in, early on in the story, yeah, the, the, yeah, that's his name, that's <laughs> yeah, um, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, no, no, it, it's really cool, like, uh, despite, this, like, this, Wishy washy gripe. I did really, really enjoy I enjoy it, and I'm excited to see uh, more work come out from her. Yeah, just like even for just that alone, of how she plays with species, I'm really excited to see what comes out uh, that she brings out in, in future. Um, and the last author I wanted to talk about today uh, is Casey Alpinus, and um, she, I think, to my my limited knowledge, is I think she's done. Probably a lot of editing work. Um, she's got. I read her story in Inhuman Acts, and she's. Oh, she what was. Oh, she's got a story in Dogs of War Volume Two, and I 
think I was flipping through one of the rules and fans and she was in that. And I'll, I'll put better links down in the description of her, 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 her entire discography. And the main reason I want to talk today is um, with the announcement of Claw, uh, finally. Uh, which I've been really, really excited for personally. Um, because... Oh, okay, so the silly thing here is that when I first heard about Claw, because it cause for so for people that don't know, Claw is um, uh, in the same kind of vein as uh, Raw and Fan, except it's female, female uh, only, like uh, centered stories. And um, and when I first heard about it, I misconstrued it as um, like a, like a female author kind of anthology, and I was like. Uh, like, and I was like, I was really kind of excited for that because, like, um, I I really would have liked to sing, I guess, a more oh, how to put it, like a like a bigger spotlight on it, like a, an easier way to introduce yourself to uh, female writers in the fandom in a way. Uh, but I can see if you're thinking about it, you know, the reasons why it's just not do that. Um, but no, it's still, it's still exciting, because, um, because, yeah, yes, a lot of people are in it that I'm like, ah, like, um, uh, uh, Jeeves, uh, Bill, Bill, uh, Kiefer, um, I think Slipper would have one in there, Dark End has one in there, um, uh, I think Jaden Dracus had one in there, I'm trying to think of all the people I've seen tweeting about it. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we're, we're like, all these people are really excited to see uh, are coming out in this new anthology. And um, yeah, she's she's been working on it for uh, at least a good year now. I think it was announced... Oh, I think it was announced early last year, at least um, the call for submission that I saw. Um, I, I could probably pull up a date somewhere. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm really excited for this. So that is coming. Um, so, uh, Claw Volume One uh, is coming out at AC this year at the Fur Planet table, uh, which is in a couple days. So I need to get a wriggle on and get that one out. Um, oh, so before I go, I will talk about her story in in Human X. Uh, this one I really did. I really, really, really loved. Um, I had a lot of fun reading it. I just wish um, I could read it out loud uh, and just really enjoy the. He, the language that we use by the characters. Um, so it was, it's scorned. Um, and, the, and yeah, so like, oh, there's a lot of kind of cool things I loved about it. Uh, like, I really liked, um, oh, the, the, the white tiger is cheap. Okay, so this is the problem I had. So I wasn't really sure if she's a white tiger or a snow leopard. But I'm pretty sure she is a white tiger because if she was a snow leopard, it would talk a lot more about like her rosettes. Because I think it does say she's got like a a striped paw when she's first introduced. Um, oh yeah, tigress there. So she is a white tiger. Yeah, I really, I really liked Maltese and I like the focus on her. And she's definitely the best thing about that story. Uh, and yeah, it was, it was really kind of cool and interesting to see this, this spin on the... The, you know, the, the washed up old dick and it's a female character and the, the strength that you explore with her and in herself. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely one of those highlight stories. And, I, I you know, I'm pretty sure all the rest of the stories in the new acts are going to be stellar. I really do hope I get around to reading the rest of them sometime soon because I know there's like a husky tear story in there at the very least, so I should read that. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so this is, I guess I'll quickly cut this off here. So, yeah, just wrap up, so, yeah. So, yeah, um, so, yeah that's been all for Roo. Uh, hopefully you'll just be, ex hopefully you're as excited as I am for all these offers that I'm finding and trying to follow a lot closer, <laughs> despite my limited time in the world. Um, so, yeah, I've been Rafer, and I'll catch you later.